Not all salmon tastes alike. Who better to feed us the best tasting salmon than Roger Berkowitz, president and CEO of Legal Seafoods. You've heard of Kobe beef as an example. So this is really the Kobe beef of salmon. A rare new breed could show up on your plate, the Ora King Tai. I would wager if you put the best of a wild king salmon next to a, a piece of this Ora King Tai, Hands down, the Ora King Tai is going to win every single time. These fish are farm raised in the ocean off Golden Bay in New Zealand. Usually when, when fish are farmed or ranched, the density of the fish in the pen is pretty high. In this particular instance, it is over 95% water and 5% fish. I mean, these are essentially free range salmon, if you will. A typical farm-raised salmon is harvested after 12 to 24 months. This is about 40 odd pounds. It's about four years old. They actually hand catch this fish. So the stress level is such that you don't have adrenaline changing the, the flavor of the fish. It is the most succulent fish that we have ever tasted. Every month, fewer than 40 Ora King Tai are available to the global fish market making its inclusion on any menu intermittent. Two Tai arrived at the seaport's legal harbor side for a tasting with journalists and experts in the fish business. You were the first people in the country essentially to be having this. They harvested four fish. One fish went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Two fish came to us and one fish went to Emerald Labasse down in New Orleans. Served with the saffron couscous. Legal's executive chef Rich Volante says the flavor profile is rich and buttery. The beauty of this fish is obviously the marbling. Anything that grows so slowly, it really builds a great muscle structure and also builds flavor. And this is a little bit of uh, a ponzu, but with dashi. And dashi is done with some kelp. Chef Volante prepares the salmon in three ways, finishing one dish with soy pearls. It's essentially a soy sauce that is mixed with agar agar, which is an algae. And when it's put into something cold, it forms a cylinder or a ball. So you have bursts of soy in your mouth when you're eating this. It's a glimpse of the seafood menu of the future as sustainability in aquaculture becomes more promising. With global warming, the fish have migrated further north and, and the stocks have been depleted. I have to sort of chase the fish. I have to know where the best fish in the world is coming from. Just down the street in the seaport, something new and buzzworthy. What a scene on this weekday afternoon. Are any of these folks supposed to be at work? We do a lot of groups during the day. It is not atypical for us to have this going on during the afternoon, even in slower periods of, of the year. Welcome to the Flight Club, where the lure is food and darts. It's not a challenging thing to get used to. So even if you've never played before, it's easy to play darts. Alan Sheehan is president of the Flight Club's U.S. operations. The concept started in the U.K. There's three in London right now, one in Manchester, one in Birmingham, the one in Chicago, and then the one here in Boston. The first game we're going to get into is called Demolition. We always hit targeted Boston. We love the heritage of the town. We love the competitiveness, and people obviously embrace sports here and embrace that competitive socialization. The outer ring is double points. The inner ring is triple points. The drink selection is extensive and the menu focuses on shareable dishes. Whimsical treats include extra fluffy cotton candy in constantly changing flavors, including maple and candy cane. People don't want to sit in a bar anymore and just drink or watch a game. They want to be doing something that people get around in a semi-private area and have the opportunity to eat, drink, and uh, connect in a way that's kind of unusual this way without their phones. You're this close, this close. <laughs> okay, and back to the Aura King Tai. Mm. When and how can we try this? Well, as Roger Berkowitz pointed out, it's a specialty item, so they really don't have any idea when they're going to get it uh. in. But whenever they do get it in, it'll be served on the second floor of Legal's Harborside. So take a look for it if you're there. Two salmon lovers, yeah, yeah, want exactly. this. <laughs> Next, the perfect blend of Caribbean flavors.